Okay, it's your boy Shizzle. I see y'all niggas is on me, yo. Y'all think I won't repeat this shit? Oh, yes. I was up for the Fresh Prince role, motherfucker. But Benny Medina was a bundle of sticks. And I told him that to his motherfucking face. Straight the fuck up. That's why I got a drop from the record label. That's why a whole lot of shit happened to Shan along the way. But I still persevered. So, yes, I will repeat that story. I was up for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I was signed to Warner Brothers. Benny Medina, look at my records. All of a sudden, Benny Medina, my executive producer. I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this nigga, Todd? Why the fuck this motherfucker my executive producer? I don't know this motherfucker. And then all of a sudden, now we out on motherfucking California Road. Shantae took the nigga credit card and went fucking ham. <laughs> And the nigga looking at me, but I know them funny moves, you understand? And so, I looked him in his face, and I said, yo, you was a bundle of sticks. And from that day, the whole thing went downhill. And like I say, you couldn't imagine anyone else as Fresh Prince, but you couldn't imagine Shan as being motherfucking six degrees of separation, and that's no disrespect to motherfucking Will. Me and Will, Will first show he ever did was with me. I know Will like a motherfucker. Charlie Mack, all that shit. And I'm saying my story. If y'all don't want to hear it too motherfucking bad, it is what it is. All I'm saying is, I know what I'd have had to go through to go through again. You know what I'm saying? Whether he did it or not, man, fuck that. Y'all see what the fuck? Y'all saying a nigga fucking a nigga anyway. So what the fuck is y'all fucking with me for? Leave me the fuck alone, but I will repeat it in public like 90 million motherfucking times like it didn't happen. Oh, I'm a, I'm a shut up. Man, fuck y'all niggas. Yes, it did happen. Benny Medina was a bundle of sticks and I didn't want the part. Fuck that, period. Thank you. So ain't no motherfucking all for the last. Y'all niggas could kill that shit. Now, you know you got to have shit to back up what the fuck you say, right? Y'all remember Tevin Campbell? Back in the days, Tevin Campbell, I forgot his songs or whatever. But now, Tevin Campbell was down in the little... Tevin Campbell is the result of what Benny Medina and them motherfuckers will do to your ass. Okay? When I met Tevin Campbell, he was a nice little 13-year-old kid doing what the fuck he was doing. After a few years, y'all see Tevin Campbell... Benny Medina and them niggas got to his ass. I don't know what the fuck, but I, all I can say is, I can't picture myself doing a motherfucking movie, first degree, six degrees of separation at all, and that's not, listen, my integrity is different than Will's. That's all. There's no shame in his game, no shame in mine, but my integrity is different. I'm not getting fucked in the ass fucking for real for real for play play none of that shit for film acting wise none of that so imagine if i did be the fresh prince of bel -Air and they came to me with fucking six degrees of separation script motherfucker my career would have been over right then too just like them niggas tried to get rid of me and drop me off of warner brothers all that shit they tried everything to destroy your man shizzle but guess what? I'm still here with my asshole intact. So my integrity is still good. I don't give a fuck. I said it, and that's what it is. I know the niggas I was fucking with. I know the fucking scenarios they set up for me. So now here comes somebody else. And all of a sudden... Hmm. That's all I'm saying. I can't say I witnessed the motherfucking thing. I'm telling you some shit first hand, first hand, first hand. Not no shit that I heard. Not no shit that I heard. Shit that I know first hand, first hand, first hand. All right? So, like I said, Warner Brothers, MC Shan, the rap nigga, all of that was fit for them. That shit was like their fucking thing. Like I said, all of a sudden, Benny Medina became the motherfucking executive producer to my fucking records. I never met this motherfucker. Niggas was trying to season me. But I guess you can't beat me. 
on both sides. The shit that I'm talking about, don't think that I'm trying to put no dirt on Will. I'm telling y'all my story. See, y'all motherfuckers ain't listening to shit correctly. I'm telling you my story, what happened with me with these particular motherfuckers and what came after that. All right, so whatever you want to put your mind to and let it work its way out, I can't never say I seen a nigga do shit, get fondled, none of that shit. I can't motherfucking attest to the fact that none of that. All I'm saying is, y'all remember the two Corys, what happened to the two Corys, right? And in order to get down in that motherfucking circle... This is not a rule that I made up, motherfucker. You don't just get in that circle just because, motherfucker. You got to pay dues. However, them dues is paid. You want this $28 million a movie, right? Whatever them dues you have to pay, I have nothing to do with it. I've never, you know what I'm saying? I've never put anything on Will. I didn't accuse Will of being a homo. I just said, I know the shit that I was up against, motherfucker. And ain't no nigga going to touch my motherfucking chin like that. Period. That's all I'm saying. Because that picture I just put up on my shit, that's what Benny was trying to do. Touch my chin. He probably trying to feel around and touch my nuts. But nigga, I ain't with that shit. And that's what crushed my career. Not no motherfucking KRS-One. Because I called a nigga a bundle of sticks right to his face. Like, nigga, use a man. And now, oh, okay, you ain't willing to play the game. No, I'm not, motherfucker. I'm from the projects, bitch. We don't do that in the projects. All that motherfucking nut tapping shit like it's a joke. Ha 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 ha. So what? You grew up in Beverly Hills. All that nut sacking shit don't work in the hood, motherfucker. That's not a game. That's get yourself punched in the fucking face. All right. So with that being said, ain't no retracting my motherfucking statement. I told my story, what happened with me, and what happened next. The shit that I'm saying to you right now. You can go back and you can fact check everything that I'm saying. Remember, he had out the, the record, Girls of the World Ain't Nothing But Trouble. They were still over there doing their thing independently with Lawrence and them or however they was doing it. I was signed to Warner Brothers. That's how I got the, the role in a Steve Martin movie because they were looking for a rapper. Well, Shannon signed to Warner Brothers. Let's go to his thing and... They picked me for it. That's how it worked out there. All right? So, if you go and fact check, you will find that I was signed to Warner Brothers at that time. So, it was like, to them, a perfect match. Shan, uh, we got him. He's a, he's a charismatic. He's braggadocious and all that. Maybe we could flip him. Didn't work out. All right? And so, next thing you know... They needed somebody that they can, you know, control or whatever. I was just uncontrollable. Any nigga in the record business will tell you Shan was a fucking problem. Either he was high, he was drunk, he didn't give a fuck, none of that shit. When it came time to go on stage, that was when my job was. But after that shit, nigga, I'm me, I'm doing me, I'ma sniff my cocaine, I'ma fucking drink my beers, I'ma do what the fuck I wanna do. So I wasn't that motherfucker that they wanted to put in that fucking slot. They needed a clean cut. Somebody that they can fucking pump out to the fucking world as this clean cut motherfucker. You couldn't fucking make a shan. That nigga always got a fucking blunt in his mouth. And if the nigga ain't got a blunt in his mouth, the nigga done disappeared somewhere. He getting high or some shit. So this is why your boy Shizzle... Didn't get put in that motherfucking role amongst other reasons. Alright? So don't think that I'm sitting here trying to dog out Will Smith for no shit like that. Well, like I said, Will my nigga. The first show he ever did was with me at First Wall Repertory. Ask him. That's how far me and Will go back. Charlie Mack. Get the fuck out of here, yo. And what I'm saying is what I'm saying. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. If it did, it's none of my business anyway. I'm just telling my story. That's all I'm saying. Your boy Shizzle is out here for truth.